So OpenAI recently launched the Vision API, which allows GPT-4 to look at and understand images. And there's a ton of use cases you can do with it. And in this video, I just want to explain how you can use this API to um, get GPT to look at your local images, like I have one here, and also look at um, public images via URL. So both of these use cases will be covered in this video. Um, both of these ways to upload an image and I'll be using the Node.js language. Um, you can also do it in Python, but this video I'll be using Node.js. So what you want to do is if you have Node.js installed, um, npm init, then do um, npm i openai. This will install the openai package. Then you can start importing openai like this. Equals require OpenAI. You create a new instance of it like this, except um, we put the API key like this. Here you want to put in your OpenAI API key. You can find this by going to the API key section, and I'll just make a new one right now. I have this capture. I'll get the API key, put this API key in here. I would recommend you use an environment variable, but for the sake of this video, it's fine. Then uh, we can actually start coding. Um, I'll be doing this in an async function like this, simply because the um, OpenAI stuff are all asynchronous functions. So it'll be easier to do it this way. So how this response would be a wait. OpenAI.chat.completions.create um, And in here, you want to put in the model which would be the GBT4 vision model this one and then in here, you want to put in the messages object it's basically just an array of objects so here, the first message would be by the user um, the role user and this um, this user is saying, uh, and content could be in a name, and one of them is a type um, of text. They just what text to go with the image, and the text would just be um, text would just be uh, what is this image? It can be whatever you want the uh, model to do. I'm looking at your image, and then. Uh, next, you want to have your uh, image URL and the image URL can either be a URL of a remote image or it can be a base64 encoded version of your image that's here locally. So um, you have here this public image. You want to just copy the URL and here you can just put this here. Um, this would be a response, and let's log this response to see what is in here. So it, the data would be in responses dot zero dot finish reason uh, dot dot con dot message. My bad. Um, finish reason would just be like tokens or max um, response ended stuff like that. Um, once you log this. You can see that it looked at this image given by URL and it got the output, which is cool. The next thing um, is how we can look at a image um, that's stored locally. So for that, you want to first of all make a function to convert your image to base64. We can be we can use the file system module here. Um, convert to base. Um, and here, so we can get the file um, data, which would be the fs.lead file sync file. And to make it a basic file, you want to use a buffer, which this AI thing got correctly. Um, 
you can use that to get a basic support version. And then, um, instead of putting in a public image URL, you want to put in this basic support data. But they have this weird format to do it like this. Um, we have our images. I'll explain this real quick. Um, so we have this images.jpg file, and here we have this data image PNG. It should actually be JPEG. Um, this is the format of the file you're giving. Next, separated by semicolon, uh, would be base64. The format we're encoding it in, a comma, then the actual base64 data. And this is just the format they like. Um, OpenAI just has it. And um, yeah, so that should be how you encode an image. So it would it would find the output for this image. So let's run it with no dot. And um, it's kind of cut off here. And the reason for that is the tokens. We can increase the tokens by just giving it, increasing this max tokens value. Um, another thing I want to point out is that you can have as much images as you want. So the, this, it's not like a requirement you only need to have one. You can have as many images as you want here. I guess you will be charged higher if you do that. But uh, you can have as many images as you want here for the model to see. So you can do stuff like encoding videos and stuff like that. And I'll just run this again. And now we can see a full description. Oh. Yeah, having more tokens just slows it down. But yeah, here is the output. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe, and see ya.